It's payback time for the West, and the EU's largest economy, Germany, will be hit hardest as Russia's fourth biggest foreign food supplier. It will lose more than $1.8 billion in food exports to Russia. The United States will lose $1.5 billion. France, Italy and Spain will also miss out on more than a $1 billion each. Cheese, pork, apples and pears are Russia's most popular foreign food imports. The government says it will increase imports of meat from Brazil and cheese from New Zealand to compensate for the supply shortfall. It's still considering whether to ban flights by EU and US airlines from Russia. The following measures are on the table. First, it is a ban on use of airspace of our country for transit flights of European and American airlines to the East Asia regions. That means to the Asia-Pacific region. The EU says it will assess the food import ban and could impose more sanctions against Russia as punishment. Following a full assessment by the Commission on the Russian Federation's measures, we reserve the right to take action as appropriate. Tit-for-tat retaliations are a worry for global growth. Recovery from the world financial crisis is still fragile, and concern about the tensions is weighing on the oil market, with Brent crude going down to $104 a barrel today. Nikki Oma, Arise News. Now joined the city by Yannick Nod from Sturgeon Capital. Um, is the United States, first of all, getting a bit of a taste of its own medicine in, in this? Because agriculture is big in the United States, but not massive to Russia. Well, I mean, for example, for poultry, I think uh, Russia is one of the main markets. It represents 7% seven, seven of the export market on, on poultry alone. And therefore, it will hurt a bit uh, USA and Europe and the other country. What is important is that it's retaliation from earlier sanctions. We, we had the seventh round of sanctions yeah. from the USA and the third uh, round from Europe. So it was almost normal that R Russia would uh, retaliate. And I suppose, really, um, the agriculture the, or the agribusiness in the United States is something that U.S. politicians don't really want to upset too much. So they, they must have thought fairly carefully about this. Well, I mean, the, I mean, it's always a very important lobby in every country, and we saw on a very different subject for the, you know, for the trade, uh, for the trade agreement between uh, USA and uh, other uh, country in, in Pacific, the Trans uh, Trans-Pacific Agreement, uh, as well as the uh, the transaction between Europe and USA. That you know. Those kind of products are always uh, problematic, and you need to defend your uh, national interest. Mm. It's going to hurt Germany most, by the look of things, isn't it? And Lithuania, apparently, as well. But Germany most. Well, if you look at the, I mean, if you look at the impact uh, uh, we have seen so far, for example, today, an impact on uh, a Norwegian company which is exporting uh, salmon, farm salmon, into uh, into Russia. It's a, a marine harvest. Obviously, it will impact a lot of uh, farmer in uh, uh, the eastern part of. Uh, EU that were relying a lot on the on Russian market. But all in all, for Europe as the economy, it will have an impact, not, not a very big impact, because uh, the economy is very diversified. Okay. I think uh, what will impact the most is for uh, Russian consumer. Well, indeed, let's talk about that, yes. because they're going to suffer inflation. I mean, there was milk inflation of about 20% the last yes. time this happened. It's going to be huge, isn't it, on food? Well, I mean, food and perishable product can't be replaced from day one, because, you know, it relies on a on the supply chain, very tight supply chain, and you, you, you can't really switch from Apple from Poland it, into Apple from, sure, yeah. uh, from New Zealand in yeah. one day. Therefore, there will be some substitution in supermarket or in a, yeah, in a big city. Nevertheless, the price of food is likely to go up, uh, and the impact in uh, inflation for Russia is likely to be quite big. You have to keep in mind that inflation in Russia is already at 7.5%. Yeah. The central bank increased interest rate because of that last month or earlier this month. So some analysts predict that could be an impact around 1, 1.5% okay. 1 inflation on so, Russia. So, so here's the thing. Putin's reputation is still sky high. Let's remember that the majority of the information that the Russian citizens yes. get is through state-controlled exactly. television, etc. Now, when are those people going to start getting cross? Well, right now, people in the street didn't see any uh, impact from what's, what's happening in Ukraine between Russia and Europe or in states. Because all in all, as you say, the media are controlling the story. What we will see probably in the next few months is consumer being hurt because of food inflation. Obviously, it will be mostly consumer in cities that rely a lot on fresh product coming from, EU, uh, from Europe. This is not exactly the political base of Putin 
because Putin rely on more like uh, let's say uh, people in central uh, sure. central of the country. Yeah. Nevertheless, we have seen yesterday that uh, Putin's approval rating was at, at 87 percent. I would guess that because of that, in the next few months, we could see a softening of his uh, approval rating. Yes, approval rating. There's a there's a winter to come, isn't there, Yannick? But yes. for the moment, thanks very much. Thank indeed. you.